Welcome to my forest. Let's have an afterburn talk and uh, have some coffee. Let's take a moment and enjoy it. Delicious. Look at this uh, throne. Here's the view. And it's, it's actually comfortable. So an afterburn talk. Uh, my second year at Burning Man. I believe that this year was better than the previous year. And uh, I understand and I've heard that some people say, oh, it's not like it used to be, it's less. And uh, to that I feel certain the answer is uh, you're wrong. It's actually more. Um, uh, an event that takes place over a week, um, over five years, over ten years, um, it's only ten weeks old. Um, and it is evolving and becoming what people make it. And some things may have gone away, um, some things probably should have gone away. Um, and uh, some things are, uh, are starting to come out of, uh, the great big confused organization that is Black Rock City. Um, what I found this year that I didn't find the last time I went was 99% uh, participation. Uh, I think that had everything to do with getting sold out. I'm glad I found out that it was sold out because uh, when I got there and I saw everyone wearing costumes, I thought to myself, uh, why didn't they do this a couple years ago? I mean, it's so much better if everyone participates. And I realized that it's because they set a limit, they sold out the tickets right away, and they stuck to it. So uh, you might think that uh, that's a drawback because lots of uh, people couldn't go. Uh, but to me, it seemed that it just got the most eager, the people who set their alarm for four in the morning and uh, got their tickets, the eager people showed up like Irma and I, and uh, those eager people are the people that I, uh, here's, a, here's another thing that happened a little bit last time, it happened a lot this time, and that I would have people wave me into their bars and offer me drinks, um, when before like you'd go into a bar and people would kind of be reluctant to serve you, like they're trying to make their liquor last, um, or they're just wasted and uh, tired of working. You know, they've been tending bar and drinking, they're drunk, and they don't want to do it anymore, and no one's going to take over for them. This time around, it wasn't like that. People were way more organized, way more bartenders were ready to, to step in. Um, people brought way more alcohol than they needed. Um, at the very end of Burning Man, the person had like a, a, a three kegger party. He's like, they're like, how long will this party last? He's like, until these three kegs are empty. I'm not hauling back full kegs. Um, so there was, there was constant call-outs to come to uh, your tent or uh, your camp and uh, eat food and drink alcohol. Um, towards the end, there were people even shouting out like um, mixed drink parties. They're like, I bought like enough margaritas for a million people and uh, I still have like a thousand margaritas left. Imagine someone like just like trying to force people to drink margaritas. Yeah, people were, people were dressed up, people were prepared, people were friendly. Not that there weren't conflicts, but here's the thing about the conflicts at Burning Man. Almost everything you could think that you want to do, uh, there is a part of Black Rock City where you could do that, and uh, other people are doing it, and they love it. Um, there's times where that uh, uh, conflicts with something else. But typically, everything's spaced out in such a way that, like, if you want to go do some meditation, there's a meditation camp. If you want to go 24-7 partying, there's a, uh, a, a party dome that is run by computer and solar panels and just blasts out music all day, all night. Um, and sometimes someone gets, like, a mobile party and they go through the meditation area and someone from the meditation area says, Hey, uh, you're interfering with everybody's uh, chanting. And they're like, Oh, okay, I'm sorry. And most everyone just said, because you're not being told not to do something. Um, you're just uh, 
you know, let no, your someone would inform you that you could do what you're doing just right over there. Um, you hardly have to move. And then over there, uh, you're also going to meet people that are waiting for you to do that, rather than over here where they're meditating. So it was beautiful. It was beautiful and it was wonderful, and uh, it was uh, soul changing. And uh, um, and it was hard, and uh, it was uh, almost daunting at times. You know, it's like you know, high temperatures. Uh, the noise level hardly ever recedes. I mean, there's quiet places you could camp, but even then, it's not that quiet. Um, so it's like you know, hot, lack of sleep, alcohol's flowing all around you. Uh, anything, everything you want is happening there. Um, I mean everything. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in that, it's really easy to find your people. So, uh, yeah, so I think you should go to Burning Man. I think you'll love it. And uh, if anyone tells you that it's, uh, it's less than it used to be, it's not what it used to be, they're right. It's not what it used to be. Uh, it's more than it used to be. All right, so thanks for joining me in my forest and for coffee. And uh, I'll, see you, uh, I'll see you at home next year.